Morning YouTube. This is just a very quick video about what I think would improve this site enormously, partly based on my experiences on Vimeo but also looking around many other sites. I spent the last couple of days looking at pretty much every video hosting site I can find from the pornographic ones to the very family friendly ones to the very specific ones that deal with particular kinds of videos. I've also looked at uh, Ning sites and the kinds of social media sites and various blogging systems. And uh, the thing that would really, really improve YouTube right now, uh, in terms of what, what my needs are, and, and their needs may be shared by yourselves, is an improvement to the flagging system, because at the moment, as we know, the flagging system is being used maliciously or stupidly, and, the, and YouTube clearly can't manage its, uh, the monitoring of those, of those flags, so it's behaving in a fairly arbitrary fashion, so when something is flagged. I've had a similar experience on Vimeo, and that's taught me a lot. The, um, the biggest problem is, the, from, is that YouTube has got a very real problem. It's got an enormous amount of people re reporting videos as in contravention of the terms of service or the community guidelines, and it's only got probably a few seconds to respond to each of that, uh, each of those claims, if any time at all. So it has to make an immediate choice. And at the moment, the only choice it's capable of making is is it acceptable for the site or is it uh, not acceptable as site for the site, in which case it's removed. What I want to suggest there is if YouTube, and Vimeo actually, but YouTube specifically right now, if YouTube could replace that system with something like a classification system, like that, like they have with the movies. Do you know what I mean? So, uh, and this would be in three parts. You'd need three parts to this. But it would be very, very easy to do and it would, it would make our lives easier, but crucially it would also make YouTube's live e lives easier. Because I think unless it's doing that, they're not going to do it. It would make it easier for the moderators and the reviewers, um, the people who actually look at flagged videos, it would make their lives easier. A classification system. Three parts. The first part is that when you're, if you're a video maker, at the point of upload, you know, when you fill in the forms and upload the video, it asks you then to classify your video, and, and probably just borrowing from the standard movie classifications, you know, R or you know whatever the ratings are, it varies from country to country, doesn't it? A little bit, but you would you would you would classify it according to whether you wanted an 18 plus audience, perhaps a 14 plus audience, a universal audience. You would make some kind of specifications there, and there would be little breakout boxes telling you what those classifications meant. So that would be the first thing. The second thing is that on the page itself where the video is displayed, rather than where the flag button is, or rather than just a picture of a flag, it would show the classification there. So if you're looking at a video and there it said 14, then you would know that the video maker had classified that video as appropriate to 14 year olds and up. Yes? Now if you watch that video, and you find out that it's actually a little bit too raunchy for 14 year olds, maybe it's got a little bit of nudity in it. Uh, not pornography, we're not talking hardcore porn here, but just, just something, you know, 18 plus. Um, then if you click on that where it says 14, a little drop down box would appear. This is the second thing you would want. You click on the, the classification box and a drop down box appears which allows you to reclassify it. So you can move it down into the 18 plus category. Yeah, so now the video is 18 plus. Now there would also be on there a flag button right at the bottom for material which is actually illegal or is an extreme contravention of the terms of service. But basically you're doing a, a job there. You're not, you're not simply sabotaging someone else's work. You're actually helping the site get better by reclassifying the video. So you would move it up to 18. But in this particular case. That would be the second part. The third thing you would need to do uh, to build into this system, you know, as well as the uh, classification at the point of upload, classification button taking the part in place of the flag button, the third part would be um, a warning that comes up every time you want to watch a video that's 18 plus. Now YouTube already does this, or at least Google already does this, you can classify blogs as being 18 plus, two of my blogs are, that, are classified just like that. Uh, which basically is a very simple dialogue box. It says it's 18 and plus, you have to click the OK to move through it. But at least it puts that little warning up in front of you. And again, that's, tr that, that's a trivial task for, for YouTube's engineers to do. If you did that, I think it would be enormously helpful. You would take a lot of the pressure off the uh, moderators because they wouldn't be facing flags the whole time. There would be less flagging going on. People would reclassify rather than flag. It would help us a lot because it meant we could put material on there which was intended for 18 plus audiences. Some of my videos 
are intended for adults. They're not pornography, they're just intended for grown-ups. You know, I have a lot of swearing on there, which I'd like to say for 14 year olds up, that kind of thing. Um, it would sort of help us. I think it would also make us feel more positive about the flagging system or some or a classification system. At the moment, I don't want to use the flagging system, even if I see something I find really difficult and, and, and doing contravention in the terms of service. I don't want to use it because the tool itself has been uh, has lost all integrity for me. You know, because it's being used maliciously, because it's being used by vandals. I don't want to associate myself with the tool even. But if it was re-understood as a classification system, then I would feel happy to do that. And I would feel happy moving something from 14 to 18 plus or whatever, or using my judgment to make those calls. I would, I would feel um, useful and being part of the system. So that's what I'd like to see. There is, there is um, a call for that kind of system on Vimeo as well at the moment because they have a flagging system just like YouTube. A uh, slightly more draconian flagging system if anything. But uh, at least you can talk to the moderators. It is a more, it's slightly more personal. It's not completely depersonalised as YouTube is. You can talk to the people who are doing the flagging and try and get into some sort of dialogue. Um, I've had quite a successful discussion with Vimeo over the last couple of days. And um, we've, we've come to, to an accommodation about some of my material, which is great. Um, but as I said, there is conversation going over there about classification systems. Um, I'll give a link to, to a, a, a Vimeo channel and a Vimeo comment by someone called Dr. Norma Jean, who is this very beautiful woman who makes these lovely videos of herself naked and singing. She, she's a multimedia artist. And she's been very concerned about some of her material being flagged. It hasn't been flagged, but she's concerned that it is, and she's come out in support of my own flagging. And she made a very good uh, uh, posting about that on the forums over there, which is just worth looking at, just to just to see that these these conversations are taking place. Now I don't know how we would put pressure on YouTube to do that kind of thing, but I think if we could, it would be enormously beneficial um, to. Look at our game faces on, really. And I'd be perfectly happy to come to YouTube full time if I could do something like that. If video does it first, I'll stay here. But uh, if, if, video, if uh, YouTube can um, yeah, get more gradation into how these community guidelines are understood, it would make my life a lot easier and I think it would improve the site enormously. Thanks very much.